Hey everyone and welcome back to the second episode of our Hyperborea playthrough. In the last video, we ended off with Velomir killing Guthrum Fagna and taking over West Russia. The Hyperborean government detected that 75.4% of the people watching this is not subscribed. You have 5 seconds to subscribe to prove that you are a true Aryan. Thank you for cooperating. And now we unlock three parts of our focus tree and I'm first going to go Ancient Lessons. And now that we're done with this, which is basically dealing with the industry of Hyperborea, I'm going to choose the Army of the Pur, Weeding of the Weak. Pythor had passed every trial thrown at him. He'd hiked naked through a blizzard. He'd been beaten for an hour without crying out. On the first day of his training, there had been over a thousand men standing with him. Now there were less than 400. The first day wasn't difficult. Pythor's eyes adjusted to the darkness. On the morning of the second day, one of the instructors opened the door and asked if anyone wanted to forfeit. No one stepped forward. On the morning of the third day, the door opened again and two men crept out. The third night would be his breaking point. After three days without food or sleep, he snapped. Pythor couldn't care less about the mockery from the men still inside. He looked up above him and saw the stars shining in the night. They were beautiful, like the eyes of the gods. And now we can start preparing for war. And also we're done with this side of the focus tree and we're going to do into the world now. Sending a message. Tell me, Victor, what do you see when you look beyond our borders? I only see hated enemies of our real rust, subhumans and Zionist puppets as far as the eye can see. Perhaps then we could start reclaiming our rightful Aryan identity. Those arrogant Germanics continue to think themselves as the master race. Perhaps it's time we let the mongrels know who the superior race really is. What do you think? And we can continue down the focus tree and go, we stand alone. The true Aryan homeland. Warlord Valery Yemelyanov of Hyperborea announces plans to conquer Palestine to the world. Local leaders in the Levant promise that we will be prepared if he comes, though not elaborating on what plans are being drawn up. Our eastern foes, the remnants. The military district commands one of the most formidable and well-equipped forces east of the Euros, but our military experts agree that they would stand no chance against a racially pure army such as ours. The Kazakh conundrum, for its brothers to victory. Oh, and the Raiders to success. And finally here we can do onwards to greatness. And here we have enough preparedness to begin the war now. Oh, and the Euro military district has just been defeated. Old soldiers never die, they just fade away. And here we can start exerting influence in Kazakhstan, and we can stage a military intervention in Kazakhstan. And we also get a new focus tree, and I'm going to do the reign of the north. Here, here, the old Russia is dead, but we, the true Aryans of the surf, are its legacy. Hyperborea will be the name of the real new Russia, which will crush the lesser Aryans in Germany and do the grave damage inflicted by the Jews. We are the past and the future. We are Hyperborea. And now we're going to start doing the High Priest. But Hyperborea is just the beginning. Perun wants us to fly southward towards Old Palestine, ruined by the Jews. We must not hesitate in our push into Asia, where the ancient lands are being settled by Eastern filth. And of course, the North awaits once we are finished for us to ascend to Asgard and take our place alongside Belobog. Winter Holidays I've been watched in horror as these men, men twisted this wonderful tradition of Ivan's youth in the name of their gods. Where was the music? The joy? Whatever these pagans were celebrating, it wasn't Maslenitsa. No, no, your holiness. I haven't seen that man in my life. You lie. Decibel of Moses. 
This man was caught yesterday trying to cross the border into Muscalfin. All who associate with the West are traitors, Jewish plotters, heretics, and will be treated as such. Eight of the gods. But Leonid prayed to another. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on them, the sinners. Give unto them what they could not give to others. And then to the night, over a humble house of worship, a thunderstorm approached. The gods are at war. We'll need help from the locals. Well, all right. Where is it to be built? Here. A shot was placed directly between the Tartar's eyes. Marat was dead before his already cooling corpse struck the ground. Burn the houses. If the subhumans don't leave, make them. And we have defeated Kazakhstan. The practice of public executions shall return to the settlements, supplemented by torture against the greatest of enemies, traitors. All indigenous units in the military are immediately to be subjected to corporal punishment for failing to meet Aryan standards for proper devotion. To reinforce inferior mentality, all native populations are to be accounted for and immediately subjected to above purification. Alexei had been getting sicker and sicker the last few days. That didn't work. I want to see a real doctor. Now, now, young man, you don't want to see a doctor. They use modern medicine, which was invented by the Jews to weaken and poison Aryans. Your parents haven't been feeding you any of that Jewish filth, have they? His parents shook their heads, and the priest's smile returned. And now that we're done with the south of focus tree, we can go down a blessed industry, a broken hero. As Alex passed the test, he could only hear the shouting of the priest of race until past and present became one, until his body could last no more, until he smiled and remembered. I defend the Aryan race. Raids are meant to locate and destroy subversive texts and heresy, see attachment, conscript able males for purification camps, seek up anti-high priest evidence and arrest as appropriate, destroy property of degenerate races with extreme prejudice. And now that we're done with the central part of the focus tree, I'm going to go down the ancient laws. This morning, Valery Yemelyanov, the nomadic warlord of Hyperborea, officially announced his intent to unify Russia under his banner in a speech delivered from his palace in Perm. International leaders are preparing themselves for the possibilities of the world where lunatics like Yemelyanov are one of its most powerful men. But we never forgot the ancestral land, what they call Levant, Jerusalem, we have always known as the birthplace of Arianism. It is our legacy, the Norns tell me, to reclaim it, even if we must incite nuclear war. How? Perun. So the high priest wove tales of conquest as he planned to slaughter Germany and plant the banner of Hyperborea over its corpse. The Palestina will follow, be it through nuclear war or at the end of ages. The Aryan race shall return and purify its land. A young warrior, Leon first killed a human at the age of 12. He had been chased by a bully to the lumberyard where he outmaneuvered the boy, returning to his hotel covered in blood. When the enemy soldiers arrived, he spiraled up from the woods, and when one had gone to piss, he slit his throat with father's shaving knife. Leon killed his father at the age of 16, when the old man tried to take his prized luger away. One day, Leon heard of a trial to purify himself, so he strode over to the new authorities, whose hands he shook, whose tasks he passed with Aryan accuracy. So he became a warrior Perun, chosen by faith to bring ruin upon the other races, which he did with a smile and began calling himself Krasabur. Alright, it's 1971 which means we can now prepare for the unification war and we can start doing preparations here. Siberian Republic shall fall, the final conflict. And now finally, we can strike Siberia and declare war on the Siberian Republic.
and we have defeated the Siberian Republic. The poet is dead, a slave to honor. The North awakens. The final battle for the unification of the former Soviet Union has concluded, and the outcome is far more disturbing than any analyst could have predicted. Even after an internal power struggle, Prim's Aryan Brotherhood stands victorious. Headed by the mysterious High Priest Velimir, the young nation of Hyperborea claims to be the true heir of an ancient Aryan civilization. Hyperborea's formation is a cause for significant alarm internationally. One can only hope that Velimir's deranged calls for the conquest of Germany, Palestine, and other countries as Aryan homelands are more bluster than derangement. Hell Perun. thunderstorm was in our air, the nature that we became dark, for we had no way. Friedrich Nietzsche. And that is our Hyperborea playthrough. To be honest, if I had to choose between Hyperborea and Taboritsky, I'd say Taboritsky is still a little bit more cursed, but this is definitely up there. So thank you so much for watching this video, like this video if you enjoyed it, and until the next video, Hail Perun.